So you can import more tile sets just by clicking on this create new button and you can browse and go back to where you have more tile sets and then just click open save as and it opens another tab so you can see I have all these tabs open these are all different tile sets that you can get they're all on Schoology there's that link to the website to get more if you want to explore more uh, but these are the better ones um, so let's talk about how to make a path because that's a pretty common feature again we have our, our layers organized you're gonna have a variety of different layers make sure you're in the right one we can lock this base layer so that way we don't accidentally uh, draw on that and so I'm gonna work in the pass layer and so you can click and drag using our stamp tool to make a single path if you wanted to maybe make uh, a bigger grab a bigger section you know you would select this from the tile set area and then uh, notice though we're gonna run into this problem where you can't just like click and drag so there's a feature here that allows us to change that so it's easier so we have these things called terrains and if you click down here you're gonna see that you have terrains and what we can do is we can click and drag and oh, we can click and drag and draw with these paths um, so so it's a really neat feature that we can have um, to create these you're gonna go to the uh, tile set that has your paths on it so there's quite a few of them so you can pick and choose which one you want for me, I'm going to show you this first as an example. Um, you can see what this should look like. All right, you need to have um, the center selection. Okay, we have an, uh, a corner, 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 corner. All right, so basically a rounded box. That's the first part of it. And then you're going to have like this other section. And so just kind of pay attention if you need to pause the video and and look at the shape of how this should look you can do that and then I'll walk you through on how to do it um, in a different one so you can go to the terrain atlas and you probably have um, something in there uh, a path in there that you can use um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this this dirt path here so what we do we come into the bottom right we select add new terrain type um, uh, give it a name and then we're going to and if these are made well you should select make a rounded uh, rounded square there um, and you can tell which ones are designed to be passed because typically they're they're like nine little cubes like that and then we're going to select the exterior, and it's going to look like this. It's going to have a little hole in the middle. And together, those will make this path. All right, so I'm going to save this. So Command-S. I'm going to go back to my map. And down here, there's a Terrains button. We can click that. And you can see the different terrains that I've made, the different paths. So now when I click and drag, it automatically makes this path for me. So that's pretty awesome. And if you mess up, you can just switch to this eraser tool and erase what you need to erase. All right, so that's paths. Let me show you uh, trees. And trees, uh, let me find a good tree here. Here we go. So we want the player to be able to walk under a tree. So it's going to be split up into two layers. You're going to have the tree base or the tree trunk, 
and then the, the tree top. So what I like to do, um, I'll come here and select the trunks and maybe place them out wherever I want to put them. And then I'll come grab the tree top and make sure I'm in the right layer. And there we go. So now the player in this situation can walk underneath, stay on the path, and walk underneath the tree top. Uh, so that's why we put those in different layers. Okay, at some point we're going to set this up now so that way we can um, tell Unity where the collisions should be placed and detected. Um, so for example, we don't want the player to be able to walk through the tree. So we're going to set this up so that way Unity can read um, all these little markers that we're going to place. So we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to uh, call it Collisions. And I'm going to add a new tile set. And this tile set that we're going to put in is this red square, it's up on Schoology, that you should get. Okay, it's just a red square that's 32 by 32 pixels. And I'm going to just go ahead and navigate to where I've saved that. And if this gets crowded, there's a little drop down arrow here. And you can browse through your tile sets. I'm going to go to the collision. And now with my, my stamp tool, um, I can just click over it. Now, that's a little tough to see because you're, eventually you're going to like be blocking things. So we have this opacity up here, which will change the opacity of that layer. So that way you can kind of see what's going on behind there. Um, so like you don't want your player to walk through tree trunks. So that's why we're going to do that. Maybe you have another, uh, some objects or walls, um, anything that you, you don't want your player to be able to walk through. So, you know, a good, good RPG usually has some barrels. Uh, so things for the, the player to find. Um, so this is where you're going to um, where you're going to place your your collisions. And so when we export this and drop it into Unity, it's automatically going to know uh, where to place our collisions. What I'll expect for you. To, to submit and turn in. All right, you should have, if you do Command minus, you can see your full tile set. And Command plus zooms you in. Um, I expect to see a completed terrain, meaning there should be a base layer that's filled. There should be some paths leading around. Um, you should have at least one path that goes off the edge to, that takes you somewhere. Um, you should have uh, some trees. I want to see some trees and other landscapes so that way it's more interesting. Um, I expect to see some objects that the player can interact with. Um, at the minimum, the player is going to be able to go inside of something, whether that's a cave, whether that's a building, so some other location in this, this map um, that the player will be able to enter. So what, whatever that is, is up to you, but there needs to be something. And then I also expect to see collisions. Um, those should be identified. So anything you don't want the player to be able to walk through, things like tree trunks, th things like walls, um, objects, those should all have a little red squares over those things. So that's what you're going to create. That's what you're going to submit. Um, you'll have a few days to get this done. And obviously, the more detailed it is, the more fun it'll be to play.